हरि ओम दिस इज माई पार्ट टू ऑफ द गॉड पार्टिकल कर्मा एंड माया आई एम जस्ट कंटिन्यूइंग इन इंग्लिश एंड बिफोर दैट सर्वे जना सुगिनो स्त्रीभ्य दीर्घ सुमंगली कन्या स्त्रीभ्य शीघ्रमे विवाह प्राप्तिरस्तो व्यापार जनेभ्य कॉटिकोटि लाभ संपाद्य प्राप्तिरस्तु सर्वंगला अभिवृद्धिर्भव तथास्तु so the question is about the god particle and the karma and the maya so who created the god and all is a is a question therefore for simple explanation i am going to give you a basic mathematical uh, equation based on analytical geometry which is y equals a plus bx a simple linear regression with one variable what is that what is y y is the independent variable for which you want the result now is is, is equal to a a is a constant where uh, you don't have influence on that by any statistical data and b is the slope of the line see when you plot out data over a period of time how far that you you, uh, you run a straight line through the data as you have plotted up and down and then you uh, you how far that it's a variation from the uh, all these data so you try to fit in a straight line so that it matches uh, the influence it has on the independent variable y that's called beta and x is one first variable the one variable and likewise you can have multiple linear regression so a plus bx then plus b1 x1 the next variable plus b2 x2 plus b3 x3 likewise you can go on adding that the variables you want to uh, incorporate in your model to find out the right value of for y generally we say r which is the correlation coefficient it should be plus 1 or minus 1 that means 100% near to near to you will get a figure i am not explaining mathematics here but this is just for a general idea if you get near to 100% plus 1 that means 100% of the time the value is going up when when value goes up or 100% of the time the value will go exactly down that's what it uh, it means so i am not going too much into mathematics now let uh, uh, let us give a brief application example you take your health your medical health why why is the longevity of a life of a person longevity with good health you put as y now a y equals to i said simple linear regression is a plus bx so a is the constant is the it's a constant you cannot have any uh, influence on that that is here a means the genetic life you had in uh, inherited there is no influence for inheriting a, geni- a genetic life except you can try to find out your father or a mother or a grand great grandfather but still uh, it's not medically proven it, overall we can say it. so a is an independent now b i told you measures the uh, variation when you plot data out over a period of say 10 years or 5 years and x is what uh, non smoking is one good thing that is x then you can put add another variable so it will be b1 x1 what is another variable your vegetarianism you are not eating meat or any bacterial food you are eating only plants and vegetables that will have an impl- uh, influence on the longevity and health of the life strength is different and health is different and longevity is different so longevity and health you will have if you are a vegetarianism another variable exercise so you can say that as x2 uh, b2 x2 then b3 x3 another variable stress free life will have imp- uh, impact on your long term uh, life and health is it not then you can take another variable uh, tea totalism tea totaler a mad person is a tea totaler not no drinking no alcohol it can have an influence then you can have another vitamins and pro- pro- minerals and proteins and good uh, uh, tablets or like that you see and another variable anger free person can have an influence on his longevity of life see there are many variables that will have longevity and health of your life so you can go on fit and finally you find a value that your life is 99 because you have out of every variable you give a mark 100 and you say vegetarianism 98% i am a vegetarian so 98 then 100% i am a non smoker so 100 out of 100 so all these things you can find the correlation coefficient r will be nearly plus 1 so when if you have this Uh, going up your life also goes up going up means if you are 95% smoker and you become 100% smoker your life span will increase that for that variable so it's a broad idea you now likewise in spirituality if you want to achieve moksha which is why which is an independent moksha liberation from this world a your previous karma 
it's a constant you you cannot have influence in this karma on your previous karma it's already over then b the me measurement of x one variable you are taking what is that x it can be your charity you are giving in this birth x1 another variable Th that will be b1 x1 so x1 what that can be your truthfulness you do not talk lies see x2 what is that it can be your bhakti to a god then uh, x3 another variable b3 x3 b3 will measure x3 which is service to others bhakti service to others uh, all will have your moksha will contribute to your moksha plus that a which is nothing but uh, your previous karma where you may not influence but with all these variables you can achieve moksha that's what he says that's what i am putting i am trying to put in this equation for educated persons who may be understanding mathematics that these are the, the previous karma is there that is the a is there your why your moksha your liberation merging with the divine depends on first your previous karma and then plus all these variables if you reach 100 there is a very good chance for you to achieve a moksha even though your previous birth you may be bad you may be a person a person may be a, a robber a thief in previous births or you would have killed somebody so his karma he has to undergo that a but then if he increases the value of these variables like bhakti to god devotion to uh, god or service to others or charity to others helping others truthfulness all these variables if he achieves 100 by 100 there's a good chance for his moksha even though his a karma was bad in the previous if the a karma is good last in the previous part then it is very easy even if he has lesser uh, uh, this thing if his bhakti is out of 100 is only 90 it still can match because his previous karma had been very good this is the broad pattern of achieving moksha what is that moksha it is liberation it is freedom from birth and death the bhagavan says no vasamsi jirnani that's like the garment uh, is thrown away by you and you wear a new garment then the beautiful state that moksha is a state of the atma paramatma we call we don't call it as a god we call it as paramatma god nomenclature came later on by the westerners who brought god god and all these words we were not knowing much we were on 7th 8th 6th century must be we used to call as shiva or mahavishnu or paramatma we are, generally we call as paramatma in the in the vedic texts in the you can see therefore that uh, paramatma that state as buddha says buddha says very clearly of that state he state there is a state of unborn uncreated and unmanifested if there is no such state of unborn uncreated and unmanifested there is no escape for the born the created and manifested whereas our rishi says that state is not only a state but it is a sarvagya it is all knowledgeable sarvagya that's the difference so if you want to achieve that state which is nothing but as our uh, tirumular and our siddhas of tamil nadu and our rishis that's a jwala it's a, it's 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 a, it's a, jw a jwala it's effulgence see a light particle if you take effulgence particle the particle they have photons they are the main particles not your hydrogen or uh, helium or uh, iron or carbon or sulfur it is called photons and these photons are highly impartial they are copycats of each other they have no character they all behave the same way look the same way enjoy the same way whatever it is there is only one state there the photon state that is what our rishis in those days now you call us photons you don't call as hydrogen or iron or sulfur or carbon elements you say photons in light because that state is copycat to each other they don't decay they don't die they are eternal see that is why we state that state of jwali that's what vallalar attained the state of shiva means jwali the the agni agni is fire but i would say jwali prakasha effulgence in pure translation effulgence so that is a state where thirumular and vyasar or anybody in from our stage they all say shiva they call shiva's effulgence means state of effulgence which has photons where you don't come back to the birth and death once you at be a photon you are a photon forever that's it you are all copycats in that world of photons everything is a copycat to each other there is no partiality everything is impartial eternity they don't die they don't decay see the beauty and in our life also yamadharma raja says in katho upanishad which i have quoted by i have given you a full translation of katho upanishad word by word from my you can see katho bishad by ts vishwanathan about seven chapters will be there and one introductory chapter will be there where yamadharma raja section 3 he says ihache asaktah bodham prag sharirasya visrajah atah sargeshu lokeshu sharira dvaya kalpate so in this world itself 
you can achieve with moksha in this life in this birth iha chet if you do not have the knowledge iha chet asakta not possible asakta bodhum for that knowledge to understand the knowledge of self realization iha chet asakta bodham prak before sharira se of the sharira visraja throwing away the body tatah thereafter sargeshu lokeshu amongst the on the lokas mini lokas that's why using lokeshu bahu vachanam saptami vibhakti sargeshu divisions chapters you know we say sarga and you know, first sarga is a division chapter in all the worlds in all the division sharira dwaya kalpate you will be born again and again through a sharira is to sharira of a stone sharira of a plant sharira of a tree sharira of an animal sharira which is not been able to be which the eyes the five senses cannot comprehend cannot see it we don't know tatah sargeshu lokeshu sharira dwaya kalpate iha chet asakta bhutam before you leave the body if you are not able to it's not possible for you to understand the bodham the self realization the paramatma within you just like ramana maharishi said everybody says in our rishis tatah then sargeshu lokeshu sharira dwaya kalpate so that is very clear now how does what is maya i have already explained how does a karma come into maya the karma is is a it's a it's a playing ball in a maya see you are in a maya and you feel everything is real and there is no escape for you everything we feel real every temporary thing a cinema we enjoy i told you we feel it is real for the two hours we feel our we feel real because the gravity of maya is very high we feel our property we will not give our property free to anybody we ours ours my children my and i have to live happily naturally every human being has that i have to be happy i have to get the best job i have to in, develop in my life i have to improve my career the gravity makes that but finally after 90 years no map person is going to live for 90000 years in this world you know that is there that knowledge is there but once you get into the world pool you be inside the world pool it's very difficult so that is maya and in this maya we what is known as is this karmas why we talk of past karma because matter cannot be created or destroyed so the energies from 1372 to 1380 whatever it is plus or minus 5.59 they say 1372 crore light years or 13.72 billion light years it is coming as wave after wave after wave through a force of successive generations the energies the imprints the impressions of those energies gets translated through a wave and settles just like the matter is getting settled when it enters the uh, 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 coagulants of matter so the matter gets kick started by the energy it enters but energy also brings those impressions so impressions of you seeing the sun the sun is like this round ball of fire and then you write into physics e is equal to mc squared yes this impressions and impressions your early impressions of a memory through impressions the basic physics to advanced physics gets translated through successive application of your maya mind mano maya mayam everything is the maya created by the mind so maya starts create mind starts creating more and more maya in geometric progression 2 4 16 256 like that it goes it creates so that's why you see through successive uh, successions of uh, 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 imbibing these uh, energies over a period of such a long time that there is a sun there is a space there is a moon there is a lander there is a vikram there is a nasa there is voyager it all comes through built on successive generations the impressions so actually the sun is not there the moon is not there the universe is not there when the universe is not there and when you are not there when everything is under the force of mana then you have created the god the god for your own interest that he will protect you that you have to be happy so if i uh, worship him i will be happy but that's not the case the law of karma works plus the law of your belief but also works that is why in hinduism we say lots of gods because various sources of energy uh, natural energy in nature are required for your own body maya development everybody wants develop nobody wants to be sick so just like you go to a different doctor you eat different types of food you visit different types of places even for knowledge 
you have to have different types of sources of nature which is possible which is easily accessible which is required the next door doctor is required to uh, to cure your normal cough and uh, uh, flu there is an advanced doctor of a very is a very big hospital and very big specialization is required if a man is afflicted with a dreaded disease is it not a open heart surgery cannot be performed by the next door clinic may not be may be or may not be it's safely so as there are different foods you have different tastes different foods are required for your health conditions some doctor will prescribe you protein some vitamins some minerals so that is why our rishis created different forces of energy so that you have the enjoyment and positive thinking and worship them with aradhana with flowers with garland with panchavadya with all musical instruments musical instruments are being played before god for you us to enjoy with the god we enjoy our god see that is a reason why the laws of nature are worshiped in hinduism and it cannot be joked about you are worshiping snake you are worshiping elephants well i worship even my dog because it helps me <laughs> i can just uh, even leave my gate open it will at least bark and say the thief has come likewise there are several sects of uh, powers of nature as you have several medicines several doctors several lawyers several educational departments science technology mathematics physics biology and all so we enjoy through several gods or devas and that's what our rishis have slowly have given us this treasure see karma is something as newton said in science and physics every action there is an equal and opposite reaction that means you cannot escape karma though you have shed your body and even if you wear a new shirt tomorrow whatever yesterday you have hit somebody somebody i would have stolen something the police will come even after tomorrow if i wear a new shirt is it not if i do a bad thing a evil thing a sin even in my previous birth in the next birth you have to pay you have to pay no free lunch jesus christ also said as thou sow thou shall reap the philosophy of karma is already there but how does it come into maya it comes into maya because of the various factors that maya makes us real so that is why inside maya we feel everything reality as you see reality in a seeing a cinema as if it is really happening and your emotions are affected by whatever sorrow or dukkha or happiness is there your hero has same thing in life that you know that it is maya but you are impacted by the gravity of the maya so the main view point uh, of of all these things is the karma the maya then the god particle therefore the karma also inside maya if you analyze see J charles uh, darwin wrote a beautiful book uh, the origin of species in which we, in which he says when there was something like a creation whatever it is it is under maya or no maya it, everything was unicellular you, when there was no male and female later on because of the karmic activities i am saying that they split into male female y chromosomes and x chromosomes must be due to some type of a karmic activity because a female is a different partiality by god if than fame than male we know that strength wise physical strength wise a female may not have that much as a strength of a average uh, male so there is a partiality created a difference created that happened only because of karma and so through karma only the differences happen and these differences happen are projected by your external Uh, by your mind as through maya they are projected as if they are happening in reality so that is what you have to think about the thing but the final stage is achieving moksha that is liberation that is why therefore as i said y is equal to a plus b x plus c x 2 uh, b 2 c x 2 b 3 c x 3 and all multiple linear you are at achieving the moksha depends on whatever karma you have inherited that you cannot escape plus what you do good this time so every birth if you do good the 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 a will be the perfect thing and the x and y if you continue to do then the nothing but you will be achieving the moksha liberation where the, you go into the realm of photons i am talking scientifically where there is no differences no mortality everything is eternity and then you stay without getting reborn otherwise hey arjuna jatasya hi dribho mrutyuh dhruvam janma mrutasya tasmat aparihari arte natvam shoshitum aryasi jada born death is certain and death birth is certain he says if you don't achieve, achieve the moksha yachet asaktah bodham if you don't achieve moksha you will be born tatah sargeshu logeshu sharira dhvaya kalpate see these are all what 
the 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 karma and the maya because maya has been proven jagatu mithya maya satyam brahmaiva maya brahmaiva na aparah shariram the jeevanam brahmaiva na aparah that's what shankaracha adi bhagavad pada says everybody says you have right from maya bhagavan krishna says i have seen we have i have given these quotes in my earlier uh, montuke upanishad so many verses bhagavan gives so many verses acharya shankara gives so many everything is maya maya mano ayam so maya is there you cannot throw away the maya which is the projection of your mind based on your karmic activity you have the maya but in reality you have to get out of this maya means you have to have self realization through meditation through bhakti there are two ways jnana bhakti and karma bhakti and all so you have to choose your path and then as far as a normal man is concerned be have ahimsa first don't harm anything first throwing away your anger have ahimsa and try to do good ahimsa is one section even if you do not good do good to others at least have ahimsa but have service to others then probably that variable will be very high for you to atti- uh, attain the moksha so that is what i am saying therefore we have to believe in various gods or devas for our moksha choose our path and have as buddha says eight noble teachings of buddha follow that so that you can have the moksha why that is the independent variable thank you very much for all these things i am closing uh, ending my this part 2 of this god particle karma and maya with the thing that whatever in the world of maya we have created including the god for our own selfish needs but the real god is the paramatma which is based on your karma that is all otherwise you will get into maya always with this i end thanking you hari om